up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of fishing more outdoors you guys can probably see it down below in the thumbnail and title we are doing ourselves a little crappie catch and cook today we got myself and we got homie mr b-rock outdoors and yeah we're gonna go catch some crappies and we're gonna try to make sushi which should be pretty interesting because myself or brock have never made any kind of sushi in our lives so it should be pretty fun. Anyway, stay tuned. We are just pulling up to Euro Tackle headquarters to uh, pick up the boat. Yeah. Probably just see you guys out on the lake or something. to a spot that we're gonna be fishing we're actually at like the same little canal that me and brock came here crappie fishing like just a few videos back we were gonna try to do some exploring but the main river we're fishing a big river right now but the main river channel was just freaking pretty gnarly out there really windy so really don't want to do much exploring because the wind's supposed to be even worse anyway stay tuned let's try to get some nice crappies first cast of the day definitely ripping the old bfs rig again bfs BFS. bait finesse the old little bait caster anyway stay tuned hopefully we can crush dude when the wind don't blow it's not bad you got one is that big it looks big is that huge it's pretty big okay maybe not okay yeah <laughs> well, I have my drag different from the other I told you they're in there, boy. Did I not? Is this a keeper? Or is this too big? Oh, it might be too big, I don't know. First crappie of the day. Solid crappie to start it. Probably 12, 13 inch. Hey? Eh? Right around there? Yeah, yeah. Box him up! That's a keeper. Yeah. That's a keeper. Crappie number two. My first crappie. Box him up. We don't need them, maybe. Three. Nice. I think three crappies would be perfect for sushi. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good one. That does look pretty good. Well, that was fast. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, catch and cook engaged. Another perfect eater. Those guys didn't catch any crappies. <laughs> yeah, we, we ran into some guys and they said they didn't catch any crappie, but they caught 40 bowfin. <laughs> Look at that Euro grub just inhaled. Oh, you're using that tungsten jig head. Oh, I switched yeah. it up today. Check this out, yeah. This is the ESR Micro Finesse Jig. This thing is sweet and uh, the whole meaning of this jig is so that it can get picked up easier with the graphs and whatnot. And it has just kind of like a little cooler swim to it. I like it. That's three in the box. Yeah, three in the box. Let's go. There's got to be a freaking pig up here somewhere. We need a 16 off this tray. That'd be pretty cool. Give me like a 50. This is big. Yeah? Yeah. Open big? No, big crappie. Oh, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm both flipping this one. Yeah. There, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Look at that one. That's a freaking tall, healthy fish there. But once again, we got three in the box. I don't think we're going to need any more for our catching cook, so... I think we're just gonna graceful release on this guy. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh. 
That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Bowfin? No, it's a crappie. Oh my god! What if is this it? is a crappie, it's huge. Oh, it's a carp, dude! No! Dude, it was hooked in the mouth, too. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It was a little carp. I know, I wish I caught it. For sure, huh? Right there. Oh. Crappie. Bass. Really? Perch. Really? Really? Yeah, that's a nice perch. Oh, my nicest perch since we've been here. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Fatty and beat up. One more look at that big boy. Goodbye. That was on the bobber. It's really shallow here, so I figured I'd throw in a bobber and that was the first cast. Oh, another one. Another perch or what? Big old perch! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dude, that's a tank! Holy crap, y'all. Oh, look at the fat on that boy. Oh, that was cool. Dude, bobbers? I can float a cord. Dude, I could pound some perch. That sounds pretty cool. I like perch. Dude's freaking GoPro died. Look at the blue deal Brock just caught. Dude, dude, just hold him. Hold the phone. Dude, that's a freaking stud. Like, stud. Hellfire. This is Good. a river. Some would call. Yeah. Look at that boy. Show. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. This is big. Yeah. Like snakehead. 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 Or, what, what is it? Bow fin. Dogfish. Dogfish. Nice. I don't even really know how to grab these things. Behind the head. This thing's legit. Do we have pliers? Yeah. These things have some gnarly teeth. In front of my bag. I might not need them. Alright. Nice bow fin. Kind of cool. Wish it was big bluegill. Looks like a turkey vulture. Drop down in the comments. What is that? Yeah, I think it's a turkey vulture. What's up, boy? Huh? Huh? Ho 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 ho. We are. Oh, is this thing on? We are back at the tree where we got those crappies, y'all. He's done. You got one? What are you doing? <laughs> Just get. Just to is that a big one? That's a good crappie. Out in the front of it? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good one. I got, oh, I'm done too. No way. Yeah, this feels big too. Bobbers are the move. Bobbers are the move. This one's big too. I don't think as big as yours though. Yeah. Okay, it's as big as yours. Dude, bobbers are the move. No way. Hey, those are two tanks. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Let's kill it, dude. Sick. Huh? Guys, release. Let's catch some more. Heck yeah. First cast, both of us. <laughs> dude, I looked over and my bobber is gone. <laughs> Again. No, yeah, dude. Okay. Bobbers are the deal. They could be loaded over there, and when we throw our tungstens, it gets out of there so fast that uh -huh. don't give them time to eat it. Oh man, that's a fish. Yep. Perch? Bluegill? Grabby. Just a little one. Switched baits too, by the way. We're both using, right? You're using this too. What are these called? 
fat assassin. Fat assassin. I've actually used these uh, a few times for crappies, and they crush. Like, they crush. All right. Cast back in there. Get another one. Another one bites the dust. Ah, ah. Another one bites the dust. Crushing. Bobbers have definitely been the move. Well, y'all, currently 530. Uh, we caught plenty of crappies. I think we're about to get out of here and uh, head to the grocery store and then head back to B-Rocks and try cooking this up. Once again, no clue how this is going to turn out, but I'm pretty pumped. Hopefully it turns out good. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll see you guys back at B-Rocks house. house we just got back from the grocery store we got all of our ingredients right here and some other stuff anyways stay tuned this is about to be a process like we have no clue what we're doing like organic sushi nori what's that <laughs> i think first step of this is we're about to cook up some rice we found this stuff because it says perfect for sushi rice so yeah but this takes like 45 minutes don't it yeah, something like that. Luckily, B-Rock has a rice cooker. Okay, what does it say? I can't read Chinese. Xing <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It says add one half. You don't have to do that. Just... Alright, well, Brock gets the rice cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and start playing up these fish. Grab ourselves a slappy. Jesus, I'm all over the place. Wasn't filming for this last crappie, y'all, but check this out. Dude, these are all little worms. I think they're like little blood worms. Check this out. You can cut into these. If you pull on this, check this out. That's a legit worm, like it's moving. And there's like 10 of them in this fish. That grosses me out, so I'm gonna go ahead and Brock agrees with me. We're just gonna throw that fish away because that's pretty gross. I think I'm gonna throw away this flay too because I cut a couple of it out and I, I don't know, it weirds me out. Like, I'm sure you can maybe eat them, but uh, I'm going fishing again all day tomorrow. I don't want to get sick or something, but drop it down, drop down in the comments. Let me know what kind of worms are them and if you've ever eaten the crappies with those worms in it. I don't want to eat it with the worms in it. That, that's weird. Anyways, stay tuned. We got our fillets done. I'm about to wipe this up a little bit and get the skin off of these, and then I'm going to chunk them up into perfect little sushi pieces. Dude, I've seen that in fish before, but that was the most I've ever seen in one. Like, I've seen, like, one. That fish had, like, 15 of them. Yeah. Weird. Well, there was some on the other side, too. I just cut it out. Another little side note for you guys. Uh, the past couple catching cooks I've done, you guys have wondered why I always put a little slit right here before I flay it. This is a little trick I learned from Marshall Outdoors' brother, Jeremiah. If you put that little slit here, it gives you a little, little something, something to hold on to. Works pretty good. So, yeah. That's why I do that all the time. Yeah, these other ones are mint. Now, we're just gonna cut these flays up into tiny little sushi strips. Bam. Bam. Ooh, that rice is starting to smell like rice. All right. Now, I'm gonna dry these flays off a little bit. Just so that the batter sticks sticks good. We are using batter and stuff still, y'all. We're gonna fry them. For seasoning, we got some Cajun seafood fry mix. McCormick Golden Dip. I've never had this. Me neither. You haven't either? I've never even seen it. That kind of fires me up a little bit. It's 
me excited. We're gonna grab our baggie, get a good amount of this in there, grab our fish, pile all that in here, and then add some more batter. And shake, 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 shake. How long do you think we got on that rice? I don't know, I didn't put a timer on. It'll pop up a timer when it's like 20 minutes left or something. Really? Should I uh, wait to fry this? Until we see the 20? Yeah. Or the, it might be 15. That'll still be good, though. 10, 10. I'll get the grease ready and all that, and then once this gets a little closer, then I'll fry them just so that it's, like, nice and maybe okay. warm still, the fish. Okay. The rice cooker is down to four minutes. Time to get this grease going. Let's get this fish fried up real quick. One more thing too, really quick, y'all. Uh, when I get sushi, I never just get one, well, like one type of roll. And they had semi-fresh sushi at the grocery store, so we also got some spicy shrimp rolls, and we got Chef Special. Looks like some actual like sashimi, and then some, uh, what's that, Philadelphia roll or something? No? I ain't Philadelphia. I don't even know. Looks bomb though. So yeah. We're not just gonna have our crappie sushi. It's supper time for us, and we haven't eaten all day, so we're trying to fill up. Uh, I think. Got a small piece. Oh, yeah. Maybe up a little more. God damn it. Do you think after all the hundred times I've cooked fish, or million times I've cooked fish, I would put it in there at the right time, but I never do. We can sauce them in. Oh, yeah. Dude, this smells bomb. Oh. Nice. I got another one. I already did. Oh, man. You should, uh... I got a thing pulled up on my phone. Grab my phone. And we can read the ingredients kind of together. Oh, thanks. Uh, my personal phone. No, not that one. <laughs> oh, <know>. shit. <laughs> Season rice with rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. B-Rock's going to get the old, get whatever this is going. 50-50, <laughs> you think? I have no clue. And water to vinegar? I don't know. What would you do? 50-50? 25, 75. Right there, boy. Mm. This fish is pretty much done, too. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so good. I think. <laughs> dude, you need to invest in some tongs. I was even at that aisle and I was like, do we need anything here? Oh, dude, this fish is perfect. and warm it's a freaking huge cucumber get this freaking avocado going first I think we'll need one avocado or two. Mm, we'll find out. If we need more, we can chop one up quick. Scrub that down in the Pretty sure what I seen too online. So you want to cut out this part with the seeds because it holds a lot of moisture. Better do this over the garbage. Definitely heard while we're chopping this up. 
I, the chef gets a little taste tester. Just, you know, see if the crappie's good or not. Yum. That batter's pretty good. Might need like a spoon, eh? I know. Yeah. Is that hot? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. How's this? It's gotta be mixed good, right? Yeah. I don't know if I showed this like 100%, but all this is is rice vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Yeah, and then mix it with this one. Yeah, sure. It's supposed to be warm, like room temperature of the rice too, I think, when we're making it. So we might even have to let this sit for a little bit. Oh. It's hot. Oh. Yeah, it's warm. It's hot. All right, so another thing uh, we don't have is like the actual rollers that people use to roll sushi rolls, but we Googled it, and apparently you can use parchment paper. So, we're gonna try doing it with this. Look at see what these are all about. Let's see what we're working with here. Yeah. Whoa. Dude, like, I wonder what side he lay down. This side he lay down, 100%, because it shows you where to cut it. We're probably just gonna have to do one at a time, no? Yeah, maybe I, I don't know. Get two yeah, I don't. I don't know. We can. I'll give it a try, and if it's really bad, you can give it a try. Okay, right, right. <laughs> should we try this or what? Yeah, let's just do a sampler. Okay. So, grab our seaweed. I think. Put it down this way. Now, I'll grab some rice. It's still pretty hot, and it's sticky. Is that too much? Yeah, I don't think you need to go crazy. Oh, it's pretty hot. Just enough to cover it, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't know, dude. I've never done this. I think this rice might be too hot. I think that's good. Okay, next. I assume I put it like right here, eh? Oh, no. Okay. This is why we need this. So we also uh, need plastic wrap for this, so we don't have any. So we just cut a baggie. I'm just going to go like this. Then we flip it, right? Yeah, I think so. Take it. And you flip it. Grab ourselves. Some avocado. Bam, look good. Some cucumber. And now, grab our fish. Actually, we need all the room we can get here. Let's go, bam. Bam. I think we just go like this, right? Roll it. Where's that paper? Plastic. Mm -hmm. And then make sure you, you take... Yep, yep, yep. Or you can probably roll it with the page, parchment paper now. I don't think we need to, dude. I think we're supposed to make this real tight, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just keep that end down. <laughs> not bad though. Not bad. Except for that. Well. But not bad. From the top it looks great. Not bad, but not good. I feel like we're really gonna crush this next one. Are you trying? Yeah. You wanna try? Okay, what should I do with this? Um I'm gonna put it over here. We can put all the done ones right here. Yeah, there you go. You can honestly not bad. Once you cut it here, it's gonna look good, I think. That's definitely kind of ghetto. Make sure you like, yeah, yes. Like spread it out like that and not just big globs because I feel like I made it like mixed together.
Here, flip it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, you need a plastic, dude. Huh? It's supposed to be under it. This is supposed to be under it? Yeah. Shut up. How'd you do that? Like that? I think so, yeah. But you're supposed to have the plastic. For what? For this part. You okay. <laughs> So, damn, dude, that's pretty good. That's really good. That's way better than mine. Damn. I'm a pro, dude. Crushed it. You gonna just do the rest? Yeah, sure. Sure? But, uh... Yeah, to cut it, they're saying it's easier with the plastic, too. Online. All right, well, I think we got it. I also tried a little chunk of the rice, and it's really good stay tuned uh brock's was definitely better so i think he's gonna make up the rest of these we're probably gonna have like one two three more of them well brock's doing that i'm gonna try to cut cut these up try bam Bruh. Crush. <laughs> we need to put the sauce, but looks just like a shrimp tempura. Yeah, dude. Without the crunchy tempura. And this one's like falling apart and it's like the end piece, so. Pretty bomb. Definitely need some, like the sauce, though soy sauce and then the sauce that we drizzle over top but it's good one more thing too that i don't know if i if i mentioned but we look for eel sauce that's usually or i think that's usually what they put on shrimp tempura but they didn't have any at the grocery store that we went to so we ended up just getting spicy mayo anyway stay tuned uh we have enough rice for one more we're gonna whip it up and we're about to feast hey look at my presentation real quick hey I mean, besides the sink, yeah. Not you got bad. it. You got it going. And shabang. We got the other sushi added to the board. Dude, this presentation is looking pretty good. Only thing this is missing is a little spicy mayo. The crappie, anyways. This is already dialed. Maybe a little more. Alright, well, all we need now is some soy sauce. I'm gonna put it in this little container here. Thank you, Brock. Yeah. Just grabs it from me. And you know what? I'm about to try some with just this spicy mayo. Just like that. Okay, this is the first official one because it, it, it wasn't completely done yet. The spicy mayo or eel sauce, whatever you end up putting on it, definitely makes it better. Hmm. You know, it's usually weird without soy sauce, too. Better try some of that. Rock's first official bite. Dude, Dude it's banging. I'm never biting sushi again. Like, it's banging. The crispiness of the crappie. <laughs> like, the texture is, like, exactly the same as tempura. A little soy sauce on that bite. Even mm. better, because it adds that little salt, dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I've been thinking about, though, the whole time? Right there. Tuna sashimi. Get some soy sauce on that tuna. Tuna's my favorite. Like, favorite. Favorite sushi. Tuna. 
Mm-hmm. Not a big fan of salmon. You can have that if you want. Do you like salmon sashimi? I don't know. Yeah. It scares me. Good? I'm not a big salmon guy. It's kind of fishy. Well, I'm going in for one of these. I don't even know what these are. It kind of looks like tuna. Some soy sauce. I think this was like the chef special one. It's bomb. Really bomb. Next, we got ourselves some spicy, uh, spicy shrimp. Mmm. Oh. That was really good. You gonna eat this tuna, boy? Mm -hmm. No? Oh, All man? All-time favorite sushi right here. Just straight tuna. Freaking melts in your mouth. Hell yeah, brother. One more of these. Big success. Huge. Y'all go catch some crappies and are looking for a new way to cook up some fish? And you like sushi? Give it a try. Because it's freaking bomb. Mmm. Mm. Ours are better than theirs. For sure. On God. Uh -huh. It's just, I mean, they're still really bomb, but the freshness of this and just that crispy crappie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, stay tuned, y'all. We did enough talking. We are about to house these. Holy crap, y'all. I might die from a sushi overdose. That was so goddamn good, dudes. Like, you guys, once again, I know I keep saying this, like, every catch and cook we do, but y'all have to try this if you like sushi, because it is so bomb, and I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot harder to make, but it really wasn't that hard. I'm sure if we did it again, it'd be a lot better, but yeah, freaking huge success on this video. Be Rizzy, thanks for the idea for this video, and helping out with this video. This was, this was actually Brock's idea. Hooray! On that note, y'all, we are going to end this one here. If you guys want to see more sick episodes, smash that subscribe button. New Fish and More merch, go check that out. Also, go check out Eurotackle.net. We were using all Eurotackle products all day today. And I think that's basically it. Love you guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in a couple days.